Hello guys, are you ready for our new lesson? We're going to discuss today, it's all about angles in standard position and our coterminal angles. Let's have our learning competency. We're going to illustrate angles in standard position and determine its coterminal angles. Now, let us recall, an angle is said to be a union of two rays that share a common endpoint called now your vertex. As you notice from our examples here, the one that is in color red on this ray is called now your initial side. The one that is moving is your terminal side. And of course, the intersection of that is called now your vertex. The same true here. This green segment is called now your initial side. The one that is moving is called also your terminal side. Now, as we continue, guys, let's have angles in standard position. Now, how do we determine or um, identify its characteristics. Okay, when we say angles in standard position, it should always be what? The location of your vertex is at origin. The initial side should always be on the positive x-axis. And of course, there are two directions here. It's either a counterclockwise or a clockwise direction. From our two examples here, guys. Okay, you notice here, this is our, um, as we evaluate the diagram, we have here our initial side on the positive x-axis. Our vertex is at origin. And of course, this is moving in a counterclockwise direction. So it is now a positive direction or a positive angle measurement. Okay, and this is our terminal side. On the other hand, this one, okay, the second example, it is said to be a clockwise direction. Okay, and of course, the uh, you notice there our, your, Angle measurement is said to be a negative one. Okay, so remember this, guys. When we say angles in standard position, vertex is at origin. Initial side should always be on the positive x-axis. And we have two directions. It's either a counterclockwise, it's positive, or a clockwise, and it is negative. Okay, now, as we continue our example, okay, as we have our example here, what if you're going to sketch the... Um, let's say 140 degrees okay how do we sketch that one we get our protractor and of course we align it with our x-axis and then of course locate now where is 140 degrees after that you get the ruler and then you are now ready to draw your terminal side okay as you connect there there you have it guys and it is said to be a positive one so therefore, it is what? A counterclockwise direction. And this is now labeled as 140 degrees. Okay. So what if, guys, there is an, uh, the given example is a negative angle measurement. And that is, let's say, for example, negative 45 degrees. So how do we sketch its angle? Okay. So there you have it. As we rotate our protractor also and locate our uh, um, 45 degrees so there you have it guys after marking it we are now ready also to draw our terminal side from the from our origin so there you have it guys and then of course do not forget to label it together with the direction of our angle measurement so this is said to be negative 45 degrees and it is a clockwise direction so we have negative 45 degrees so there you have it guys so that is when we sketch our angle measurement in its standard position now what if this time we are now ready to um, determine its what you call our coterminal angles okay when we say coterminal angles guys two angles in standard position and Okay, they are said to be coterminal if and only if they have the same terminal side. Take note, they have the same terminal side. Okay, now bear in mind also that each angle has infinitely many coterminal angles. So you notice here from our example here, we have here a 120 degrees. Okay, and of course our terminal side is this one. And then of course, another one, another angle is negative 240 degrees. And it's a clockwise direction and the same terminal side. So this side now is called your coterminal. 
Okay? And these two angles are called now your coterminal angles. 120 degrees and negative 240 degrees are said to be what? Coterminal angles. Now, let us show another example. Okay? This time, what if we are going to show an angle which is 100 degrees? So again, look, as we um, locate the 100 degrees, there you have it. And of course, take note, it should always be in the standard position. Okay, so after determining our 100 degrees, it is said to be a, a counterclockwise direction. So, label it also 100 degrees. Now, what is the um, coterminal of that? It's just a matter of getting its or subtracting 360. Okay, so 100 degrees minus 360 degrees. And there you have it in a clockwise direction. And that is now negative 260 degrees. So again, guys, um, you observe there that when we determine our coterminal angles it's just a matter of okay the first one is you're going to sketch that angle and then if we would know the other angle of that or coterminal angle of that it's just a matter of adding 360 or subtracting 360 take note each angle has infinitely many coterminal angles so therefore 120 degrees um, if you uh, for example, get its another coterminal angle. So simply add 120 plus 360. It's we have 480 degrees. Okay, so that's another coterminal angle. What if this time we are going to subtract 360 from that? It's negative 240, and another uh, subtract again 360 is negative 600 degrees. So again, guys. Take note of that, of our formula for coterminal angles. It's just a matter of adding 360 or subtracting 360. So, let's sum up or generalize our discussion for today. Okay, guys. When we say angles in standard position, bear in mind with that, that it is said to be um, the vertex is at origin. And, of course, take note that our initial side should always be on the positive x-axis. There are two directions. It's either counterclockwise or clockwise direction. And of course, we have discussed also coterminal angles. When we say coterminal angles, two angles in a standard position, and that's said to be coterminal if their sides coincide or their terminal side coincides. So they have the same terminal side. So that's it, guys. And of course, um, thank you for... Uh, listening once again to our discussion for today and hope you have learned something today and of course um, have a nice day guys and do not forget to subscribe and like our videos as well so god bless guys